This is the sort of scenario the volunteer lifeguards at Piha dread. A desperate search for two missing fishermen in fading light conditions. At Piha, two fishermen have disappeared off the rocks. A major search and rescue is underway during the preparations for the club's annual vice versa party. The two women who placed the original emergency call are now on the site. And then they would go like this, and the waves were just like abs just coming over, just caving in on top of them. It has now been 12 minutes since the call came in, and there are only 20 minutes of daylight left. One place the boats can't search now in these conditions is the blowhole, a crevice under the rocks. If, to be honest, if they're in a blowhole, they're in there for at least a couple of days. They go yes. up good, good 10 metres. Once somebody goes in there, there's no way in hell anyone can get them out. Um, they start off reasonably big and they narrow down to a tiny fissure. And the other thing is, of course, you just can't get them out. We, one, we can't get close enough from the seaside. And two, the chopper just can't hang anybody anywhere near. Greg decides to drive through the keyhole, a narrow channel through Camel Rock, the only possible escape route for the fishermen. This is the sort of scenario the volunteer lifeguards at Piha dread. A desperate search for two missing fishermen in fading light conditions. What we're looking for, we're looking for dark, dark masses in the water. They'll be, if they're floating, they're floating about that far below the surface. You saw them definitely on the point of camel. Absolutely. Yeah. Right, right on that high point. And they were literally running back and forth with hand lines. Right. And I knew there's no way you can do that with those waves coming. And the waves were coming over them because we had the knockers going like. So I've been in the water since Bruce decides to regroup the lifeguards and start a grid search heading south, the most likely way the current may have carried the fishermen. And then out of the blue, Two men approach the search party. Yeah, we've been, we've been back for about half an hour. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll uh, get up there by the front of the camel. Yeah. yeah. yeah we should Sweet. Be back and take what did you get? What was the call? <laughs> oh, there you got some. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, we may have been tripped up the wrong place. Saw one of you. Well, whoever, whoever yeah, called, yeah, called mate, got it wrong. Oh, it would have been nice getting the rice, bro. Very interesting. Okay. Copy that. We heard a payment. People are looking at. No comment. Yeah. <laughs> and we only got one fish too, it's pretty disappointing. Nah, that's good, that's just one of those one of those situations that they turned out all good instead of all bad. If they've been out there, there have been two bodies. Yeah. Yeah, I did actually have my dress and all my gears on actually. Yeah. Um, it was that quite a quick change. I'm quite lucky I didn't put my makeup on because that would have been the case of my mascara running and that, that wouldn't have been a good sight. 